Okay, so to put the uh, the budget in, in context from a, a, a VAT perspective, uh, I think some commentators had suggested that what we might see today was uh, a, a cut to the overall rate of VAT, albeit on a short-term, more temporary basis. Uh, but it's interesting, looking at the, the budget notice that the Treasury issued after the Chancellor spoke, that the, the public sector receipts in 2021 from VAT and excise duties, so excluding customs duties, was 199 billion compared to 198 billion for income tax receipts. So you can see why perhaps a cut in the VAT rate right now wasn't as attractive to the Treasury as, as it might be maybe in the next year or so. Uh, the main headline, however, is a, a VAT rate cut, albeit an extension to the 5% rate that was introduced last year for the hospitality and leisure sector. So the Treasury have announced that that 5% rate will be applicable until the 30th of September this year, and then until the 30th of March next year, it will rise to 12.5%, so still 7.5% lower than the standard rate of that. Uh, I think some sector bodies had hoped that the 5% rate might be extended to include alcohol that was sold as part of a meal, uh, but, but that hasn't happened. Uh, as I say, all we've got is the general extension uh, that we already had essentially. So, so businesses that are affected by this change should know now kind of what they are expected to do and how the, the rate will apply. Uh, as I say, the benefit to them has just been extended until the 30th of September for the 5% rate and 12.5% rate until the 31st of March. The other changes from an indirect tax perspective are relatively kind of insignificant. The one that I would mention next would be something that isn't specifically intended as an indirect tax uh, announcement, but it's the, the creation of eight free ports uh, in England uh, in 2021. Now, from a, an indirect tax perspective, uh, the interesting piece around free ports is it's fundamentally designed to reduce some duty costs that businesses have been suffering as a result of Brexit after the 1st of January this year, uh, where goods that have been imported into the UK, either for onward sale to the EU uh, as they are, or for processing before onward sale to the EU, have been subject to a double duty cost on the import into the UK and then the re-import of the goods back into the EU. The, the point of the free ports from a customs perspective is that the goods can be imported into the UK without there being a duty cost. Uh, and then re-exported out to the EU without UK duty ever being payable. So from an indirect tax perspective, that, that is an interesting announcement. Uh, 